Hello there, welcome to part 6 of the game Pyro's Let's Play Baldur's Gate 1. After uh, screwing around with the coordinates uh, where we last left off in part 5, I figured out where the ogre is who carries um, two pelts. One is cursed, so it changes your sex from male to female and vice versa. So I'll tell you which one is cursed so you know not to put it on, because if you put it on, you can't take it off. I don't have a uh, spell to take it off. Alright, and the ogre is right here. If you check your coordinates, we are. I'm gonna show you on the map. We, we just pretty much travel from here to here. I didn't want to see us walk all the way over there. It's kind of boring. So, anyways, uh, we're right here. Check, check your coordinates. Um, X for throwing a ball and L for the, the uh, vanilla, which is the regular uh, ball and skate. So, X, we're right here. Um, Alright, so get ready. Get set. I'm gonna. Uh, Give the oil of speed to Ash. What you want? These things I can find all the time, so don't be scared to use them. Especially wands, too. People don't like to use the wands. And they end up selling them because you have so many of them. Alright. Well, that's just what we call pillow talk, baby. Yeah, he keeps talking. Alright, well, we're gonna choose a formation. I got it, I got it. Get it all set up. Quick save first, alright? Q for quick save. Alright, get ready. I'm gonna have him do chill touch. Which pretty much just um, shocks the guy. I think it like, can paralyze him depending on his level. But for right now, he's just only level 1, so. Where is he? There he is. I hear him. Oh, right there. Alright, we got the oil speed on. Watch this. With the oil speed. He has two attacks now, not three and a half, not mean three halves, so, you know, 1.5, he has two attacks. She has three, because she's more uh, dexterous. So, three attacks with the bow, three attacks with the shotgun, or crossbow. Okay, let's pray. Okay, you stay back. You guys just need to stay back. Oh, he swung. Missed. We're gonna flank him. These are just like distractions. I kinda like to toy with the game the way it's made. Just let the guys in general just choose one character and just follow him. So if you can do that successfully and do it, so just drag him across, have him keep firing. See, that right there. Critical hit with that chill touch, 6 and 7. Now he's going to turn to Zar and attack him, or not. I guess he likes girls. He's a pedophile ogre. Going to go over here. He might switch to Ash now. Yeah, but he does, because I'm closer. Don't attack R, because R only, Zar only has 4 health. Fuck, he is. Get back. This is pretty much what you have to do when you're a really low level, like a level 1 fighting a level 4 creature, you know? But if you got the numbers, you can do it. Fuck. Alright, chainsaw him right in the back. M1, fucking attack! Yeah, use the magic missile wand. Yeah, boom, Ash. The chainsaw out of the back and chops him up. Alright, good job. Alright, you see how they move so fucking fast like that? That's what those oil of speed. Very useful. Alright, we got a spell. Two pelts. Uh, he doesn't have the room for it. Alright, this one right here. That thicker one, that's the cursed one. Don't even wear it. Don't even put it on. You can't get it off. This one right here is, um... Uh... Girdle of Piercing plus 3, I think. So that's really good against uh, being shot up by tons of arrows or bolts, whatever. So, um, never put that on. I mean, if you want to make someone a male, but it has no positives at all. It just changes their sex. Uh, she's out of arrows. That's why she stopped attacking, of course. We did that and did not die, so very good. Gonna quick save. 
always quick save quick save before save of course before you sleep before you do anything pretty much save no matter what because better safe than sorry or save than sorry I should say alright and there's one more thing there's a ring of protection plus one let me go and uh, figure out the coordinates and I'll take us there alright one second okay I figured out where it was alright unpause it hopefully we won't get attacked anymore because Zar has no more spells you know he's useless and they're just going slow so switch to the shotgun I mean if you really want to have a fun time and customize the game I highly suggest you take advantage of it because it makes the game way more fun when you customize and make your own character like with Dash, you know? I kind of stole the idea of the character, but you know, you use the sounds, the looks, and you just take the storyline to what he is. You can actually change up his biography. You can go into here, customize, and you can actually uh, can type it up and just put in, you know, about Ash and he fights the evil dead and all that kind of stuff. So you actually can do that. Each Each character has their own biography so you know you can read through it if you want um... here's Zara's stats if you guys want to know he's pretty smart you know but he is evil and i don't like a lot of evil guys in general because i just like to run a good party so oh and since it since M1, um has that seventeen intelligence people like to subglass her but wait until she's a level five thief with like you know lock picks whatever she good at uh, find traps and um, pick locks do, do those too you don't really need to have pickpockets unless you like steal things move silently there's no need for that hide in shadows if you want to backstab go ahead it helps out but if you got the fighters you can go ahead and do it <clears throat> but um yeah subclass her uh, when she's at uh, five for thief and then you can get around the same amount like five thief and then six for mage so it's a pretty good character to play with you know you know if you want to still play with her so she's a very good thief okay that ring is somewhere around here what does he want Ooh, pillow. um beasties keep your voice down I'm trying to hunt okay let them hear I'm ash Okay, what are the coordinates again? Alright, we gotta go a little bit south and to the west part. A bit more. Oh shit, is that a dire wolf? Please don't be a dire wolf. Oh my god. We better not die. Oh shit, she has a fucking sword. Alright, you two, just get the fuck back. Ash, take him out. Boom, critical hit. Alright, pull him back in. He's out of chill touch. Good. Alright, Ash. What's his health at? 10. Hopefully he won't die. He's got backup coming in. Swing, miss, swing, miss. Come on. Someone hit him. Don't attack Zar, damn it. We need him to cast spells. If they attack the wrong guy you want, you can just pull him off. Alright, let's go. Boom! Monteron, good job, you're good for something. Alright, let's go find that thing. There it is. You press tab, you can see it. But this little rock right here, that's coordinate 1004 by um, 1112 on your map right there take that ring of protection okay or not get, let's get someone who has the space for it what needs you dead shut the fuck up and take that if someone has a really good lore, lore they can identify things without you know costing money she only has ten he should have a lot because he's a mage but he doesn't because he's a fucking dumbass alright well um Bards have the most lore because they, you know, they tell stories, they do whatever, so they're really smart with that kind of stuff. So if you have a bard in your party, 
they can save you a lot of money with trying to like see the stuff and identify them and you know do whatever get the full potential of the special item all right and we're gonna travel to from the arm in so uh, this ends part six stay tuned for uh, part seven I'm gonna quick save real quick and then this ends part six